I've lost track of time though. I really don't know how many days we've been here. Do you remember how many days we've been here? No. They're all kind of blurring together know, for me. It's amazing. Really similar, right? Do you remember that video that we made in uh, Philippines where every day we just went to the beach, a different beach, or we just went and yeah. played in the water to cool off? And this I feel that's kind of what we're doing now, and I love it. It's so it's awesome. Definitely the irrelevance of time. <laughs> we made that video nine years ago, and a lot has changed since then. Our journey's been full of ups and downs different chapters and characters in our story, and even starting a family at sea. But some things have stayed completely the same. Destinations like these still lure us in. Places where days morph into weeks, and if you see a footprint on the beach, well, you know that it's yours. And after everything we've been through over the years, I'm even more in love with the sailor girl than ever before. And being able to experience life with her in a place like this, well, it just doesn't get much better than that. Today we're exploring this island. It's just got a bunch of birds on it, which means that we've explored every island along this side of the reef, starting here at Bird Island and exploring all of those. Every day, a different island, a different beach. It's pretty cool. Some juvenile, and there's definitely some that are laying on eggs, I think. This one is like really white and fluffy. They are extremely cute birds. They're so cute. They kind of look a bit cross-eyed. <laughs> I would name this island, I would name it Bird Island. Yeah, Bird Island. Let's go swimming, Sierra. Yeah, let's go cool off. We're going to take Maggie from here, Bird Island, back to our normal island, which is about a 10-minute dinghy ride that way. And it's going to be cool. The water here is so clear that it looked like we were on a green screen, floating through space, gravity melting away as a force that no longer applies to us. We had all these islands to ourselves, and we swam and explored all day. One thing about cruising is that you learn to settle into a slow pace of living out here. There are so few things fighting for your attention compared to life on land, and you're able to get lost in simple things for hours, days or weeks. It's a feeling of being present, and to be able to experience this as a family as much as we do is pretty dang special. As we continue to explore the pass, we stumble across one of our favorite inhabitants of this strange and beautiful underwater world. There's an octopus right there. It's really it's so cool. It's so camouflaged. I'm gonna dive down and see if he scares away or. We wanted to get a better look at our squishy friend, so I set up a GoPro next to his hidey hole 
to see if he would be a little more adventurous if we gave him some space. And sure enough, after a minute or two, he emerged to have a look around. We've been in this spellbinding atoll for about four weeks now. It's one of those places you'll never forget. And when Sierra asks what her life was like when she was little, this will be one of the first videos that we show her. But sailors got a sail, and today was the time to say goodbye to our little slice of paradise. We're off, huh? It's a beautiful morning. We have to leave Tahanea, the crystal clear waters of Tahanea. I have sure loved it here. It's an amazing atoll. We've been sitting here for the last week looking for weather that would allow us to move further east. I'm going to pause here for a second and just explain a little bit about the weather patterns here. We're located smack in the middle of the South Pacific trades, which are almost constantly blowing from the east, making westbound routes for sailors pretty ideal. But we're actually trying to go east, against the trade winds back towards the Marquesas Islands to get out of dodge of potential cyclones. So rather than bashing up wind and then typical 20 to 25 knot easterlies and hoping for the best, we're trying to be a little easier on ourselves in Delos. So we're playing a waiting game, waiting for lulls in the wind when we can sail in light breeze or motor sail even to the next stop before the wind fills back in again, which in this case is another atoll in the Tumoto Islands about 150 nautical miles away. Looks like we have a little window that'll get us to Roria. Uh, so it should be hopefully about a 24 hour sail for us. Not gonna be a lot of wind, so I think maybe we'll be able to sail a few hours today, but then we're gonna be motoring in the calm. But that's fine because behind that is sort of a front that's coming up from the south. So we have to uh, get in there and get situated and watch that weather because these fronts that come up out of the south, they're not like revolving systems, but they can be pretty intense and uh, not all the models are green yet, but there's definitely something down there. So we're gonna get there, spend a couple days resting. And then if we need to move on towards the Marquesas, we will, if we can hang out for a little while and just chill in Roria, we'll do that and wait for another weather window. So yeah. we'll see. If you wanna check your own weather, be sure to visit uh, our affiliate link uh, for Predict Wind. It's an awesome service. We use it all the time and um, it works not only over Starlink, over the normal internet, over cell connections, but um, also uh, Iridium devices if you have one of those for low bandwidth. Uh, link is down below. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, are you excited about sailing? It's a few miles from our anchorage to the pass and out into open water which put us at a pretty good angle to the wind. The other cool thing about sailing inside an atoll is that you're exposed to all the wind, but the swell is completely blocked by the reef that surrounds you. This makes for very fast and comfortable sailing as you slice through the water. It's such a satisfying feeling, and as far as sailing conditions go, it's about as good as it gets. We're flying, and it's very smooth with no swell in here. 9.7. 9.6 through the water and eight over the ground and 17 knots of breeze. That's flying. We can only sail like this the whole way. Imagine. Looks like you're tying the path a lot better than uh, last time <laughs> when we came in. It was such big waves. And now it's not that much waves at all. So timed it real good. We're gonna have current against us though. Yeah. Three knots against us. Three knots against us. See it on the water here. Four knots against us. Four knots against us. That was a lot calmer than when we came in here, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> rash guards, buy them now. Huh? svdelos.com forward slash rash guard. Protect yourself from the sun. You get up that though. Dang. We made our turn up into the wind as we left the pass and started to feel some of the ocean swells begin to pick up. Delos was in her stride and it felt great to be back out in the wild again after being on anchor for so long. But we knew the wind wouldn't hold for long, so we took full advantage of the conditions and set Delos loose. Oh my god, 
when you're out there you really realize how uh, protected our cockpit is <laughs> it's so hectic out there Woo! the wind leveled off to a calmer 10 to 15 knots and things were pretty peachy on board as we made good progress to the east we're really having some beautiful sailing right now we're going upwind but She's slightly off the wind a little bit. The swell's not too big and the breeze is always 10 to 15. And there's this tiny little hole over here that I've been looking at on the chart. And it's a good thing I'm paying attention because <laughs> we were headed straight for it. We're doing quite well. This is Tahanea where we left from and we've been making our way pretty much solid east following the wind. So obviously we can't go straight line distance because Makamo's in the way. So we're just going to head down this way a little bit, hopefully go between these two and then we'll cut back up this way. It should be okay. I think we're going to lose wind probably tonight though. So I hope we can sail to maybe here. That's another 50 miles. And if so, if we lose wind in the next like, you know, eight hours or something, then we can just motor straight up that way, which is what the prediction says. So we'll see, but it's really nice right now. Making good speed, very comfortable. Think we should motor sail soon? Maybe when I'm done peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Going about two knots. It was an awesome day of sailing though. Yeah, it was a great day of sailing. up a little bit of kind of leftovers we just had I took out a piece of salmon and we had some leftover cauliflower rice so it's a pretty easy dinner wow thank you is that salmon How do you want to do the watches? How about we stick to the usual plan? Yeah? You do 12 to 3, I do everything else. Okay. Is that work for you? I think so. Are you feeling tired now? Do you feel like you want to go to bed now for a bit? No, or? No, I'm good. There's not much going on. Just watching radar, watching the atoll. There's no wind, so we're motoring, okay. taking water. Okay. I'll see you in a few hours then. See you at 3. Okay. No, wait, 12. 12. And pin three. Yeah. The 12 first. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bye. Good night, Sierra. I love you. I was super hungry this morning, so I decided to splurge and do a little big breakfast. Scrambled eggs, cute bacon pieces, and some hash browns. Oh, no way! Breakfast for you! Yeah, you're the best! Yeah. That looks amazing, thank you. Nom, 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 nom. Are you having bacon too? I can't. 
I'm oh, good. Oh, hits the spot. Do you want to see mine? Wow, mommy's the best. I have bacon too. Hey, that's my bacon. You have your own bacon. You just want to look at it? Yeah, please. Okay. Bacon monster. We have how far to go? 23 20, miles. 23 miles. Doing pretty good. It's motor sailing in the sunny sunshine. What are you doing, Sierra? Drawing. Yeah, it's not that good. <laughs> what did you draw? It's a house. It's a little house. Oh, I like your son. I can't what? It's really hard to do when you keep on taking all the crayons away from me and I'm not allowed to use them. <laughs> did you just tell me to calm down? <laughs> You are a real piece of work, kid. Just calm down a little bit, Brian. Calm down. Use the crayons, I tell you. I'm gonna get myself a cool drink. Nice. Why? Nice. Why do you ask? <laughs> nice nose! It's a gorgeous sunny day, and you can see land! Where are ya? Okay, we're going through the pass. It is always a bit nerve-wracking going in like this because it's kind of shallow and a lot of water moving, and luckily we don't have any big waves today. We have three knots with us. Three knots with us? We're doing eight knots now. Whoa, eight knots! Flying through. We breeze through the pass and onto our next challenge of dodging the minefield of shallow bombies that littered the inside of the atoll. But this wasn't our first rodeo, and we've gotten the technique down pat. This is how we navigate. Phone with the avionics and a remote for the autopilot. That's kind of ridiculous on the too. Look at all these bombies. Dad! Hey! Are you going to help me keep watch? That's the autopilot. That's how we're. That's how Daddy's steering the boat. Next time you see a bomby, then we'll figure out which way to steer, and then you can push the button. Okay. Okay. Now where's that bomby at? Bomby Mom, spotter. Right there. Right there. Yeah. That's a big one over there. Dad, a bomby. <laughs> we have a bomby family bombing spotting party. Hey Sierra, we're gonna take us to starboard. Push it two times. That button, push it two times. One, two, that's it, stop. And now the boat's turning, you're driving the boat. That's crazy. <laughs> Let me see. Crab, I'm racing, Dad. <laughs> cool. cool, huh? Yeah. Under the watchful eye of our balmy dodging extraordinaire, we made it safely to our anchorage where we dropped the hook and celebrated our arrival with a sailor's version of a charcuterie board. We made it. Congratulations mm. to another successful passage. So hungry. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. Thank you for doing such a good passage for me. So mm. this is the spot we're gonna be until we go to the Marquesas now. There's no people here. There is not one single no, boat. We're the only boat. There's no... Everybody's already gone. Yeah. That's okay. We have the whole place to ourselves. I know. It's pretty wild. Amazing. Woo! Okay. Time to enjoy. Yeah. Up next on Delos, we discover what it really means to be truly, truly alone. It's just so special. Look at this. We're the only people here. And we explore this incredible paradise without seeing another human for an entire month. How do you think we can get him out of there? I don't know. I need a bucket. Ah! <laughs> That's what we feel though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, he's strong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sierra, what did you find? Oreo cookies? 
Who was eating those? Me. Daddy was? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy had a little snack attack last night. You want one? I ate them all, sorry. Dang it. Bye. Bye.